beautiful morning. Hello, I'm on holiday. <laughs> oh, it's a hottie this morning. So it's our last morning anyway. Packing up, unpacked. That took me a little bit of shuffling around. Stripped the beds, thrown all the rubbish away. I'm done. This is just what I've got to pick up now. And we just got to get you a little bit packed. <laughs> You aren't taking that hot dog with you. I am. <laughs> How did I get that in? That ain't gonna fit in the case. That's not. So I'll put it in the hand luggage. We're just gonna leave that with the toys there. I'm sure the cleaner sure the will cleaner. find somewhere for yeah. it. Um, yeah, you've, you've got quite a bit to do here, haven't you? It looks like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dance. Plenty of time, we've still got an hour, two hours. Yeah, I was up early, I got up about six, had a shower. I'm just sort of, was keen to sort of pack up and feel feel organised. I was a little bit concerned about the weight of this. But yeah, it's all going smoothly. Let me show you outside this morning, it is gorgeous. It is a scolder already, honestly. <laughs> the state of this swimming pool roof, look. 100 pounds on it that he'll be cleaning that this morning. So, are you fit then? Will you be ready for this then? Are you keen to get home or...? I don't mind going home. No. As long as I can have another holiday at some point soon. <laughs> Dan's a little bit drunk still this morning, aren't you? It was the last night. <sighs> we got in about, what, ten? I think it was about ten, yeah. I was tired. And on the way here at the airport, I think it was, we bought a bottle of no. booze. You put that. And the first couple of nights, I'd have one before I went to bed, wouldn't I? Yeah. And then I forgot I had it. So last night, it was still up here. And you finished, so, finished the bottle, near enough? I didn't finish the bottle. Is it? Is it not empty? Oh, a little bit left. Um. So yeah, I had a couple of... A base, I'll tell you what I had. Three of them. Oh. There's three glasses. Yeah, that's all right. I was sunk. I didn't even hear you come to bed. I was out of it. Right, where do we start with you then, darling? I'm sure you've got some stuff in this wardrobe. I have. Yep, yeah, you've got two garments. Hey. I fit all this in the case. The case is big enough. Mm. So we've got a problem. I'm going to have to carry a few of these as hand luggage. There's no way I'm getting all this in that. We'll have to sit on it. You weighed that yesterday and that was only 15 kil kilograms, so yeah. as long as we can get it in. There's a lot more uh -huh. to go in it now. Yeah, I don't understand how, what sort of happened here. I'm just going to double check the bathroom. Plumbing don't sound good this morning. So I did get rid of all the cosmetics in the bin and that. So that's all. Towels are down there in a pile. Yeah, you've got two garments in there. Are you meant to be wearing these today, darling? Or do you need these for your case? Yes. See if they'll come off. There you go. I'll double check all these wardrobes actually. I'm not gonna I wouldn't mind you leaving a couple of bits as well, aren't you? Yeah. Just double check. <sighs> Yeah, still a bit early. Do you think you'll want to be going down for coffee or toasty or anything to line well, your tummy? Is what I yeah, to or say. coke. Line your tummy maybe for the day. Yeah. Well, I can carry a couple of bits, can't I? Well, you can carry that then. What? That. The suitcase. That's over 20 kilograms. Come on, let's squeeze it in. What's this doing out? Look, you've still got another garment there. Those you're leaving, yeah? These things up here? Yeah. You still ain't How got your cosmetic in? bag in yet. This isn't looking good. You did buy an awful lot of stuff, <laughs> didn't you? That ain't gonna close. So we popped down for breakfast, so to say. You've come down for a coffee, haven't you? This is only the second coffee I've got on a breakfast here. Yeah, is it nice coffee? Yeah, it's good. Good. Mm. Out of the machine. Happy I've, with that. I've just got a really cold bottle of water. Now, we're not going to get back to the hotel tonight till about half five, even six. 
So I want to lie in my tummy. I'd rather eat this than the airline food. I'm not eating I airline like food. I like the airline. I like to try it just to see what it's like. <laughs> you tried everything on the way I here. I did. <laughs> I might not on the way home because I do. We both know there's good food at the hotel. Yes, yes. I like. want to have a, that Caesar salad. If everybody, anybody remembers me having. I don't know if I filmed that actually, did we? Yes, I think we did. Oh, we did. I think so. Right, well, I'm going to. Do you want one, honey? Half a one? A tomato. I can pull it out. No, thank you. That was scrummy. Just what I needed. I t to be honest, I didn't think I'd finish it all, but I did because it was absolutely lovely. Do you want to go take a little walk to the beach? We've st still got a couple of hours as yet now, haven't we? All right, then, as long as I don't get sand in my shoes. So we've just been down to the beach. We've actually made a separate little video, haven't we, darling? We have, well, we'll be showing that in the next video. Yeah, that'll be on the next one. It might be a little bit on the shorter side, but hey-ho. It's just talking about his experience here. And yeah, but it's very interesting, so please go over and watch it. Um, so we're coming up now, we're... Done. We're done, yeah, we're gonna get going down now. Get you a Coke. I might have a last hot chocolate. Coke? I'm on order. Oh, you said you wanted a Coke. Oh, Bacardi and Coke. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we've got a big pile of rubbish. But we're one of these. We don't like the cleaners to have to come in every day. You know, they've got enough on their plate up the corridors. So, as long as we've got our toilet rolls, we're fine. Uh, strip the bed for her as well. So, there's nothing tucked away anywhere, is there, honey? Uh, I don't think so. No, it's just my couple of bits on that bed. I'll I go might take a can for the coach. I did say that, didn't I? Pull it, pop it into my hand, like handbag there, darling. We've hardly used any of that. We we didn't, did we? Three drinks and hardly yeah, any. yeah. Right, I think we're done. I think we're done. All right, let's just go on the balcony one last time. <laughs> oh, I've been saying to Dan all the morning. I feel really sad. Really sad. I actually feel quite at home here, I want to say. It's really nice. But anyway. Let's do this. Goodbye, Turkey. Come on then. Tipping the cleaning lady again. We did tip her yesterday. Yeah, it's a different cleaner today, isn't it? I think that's what she said, actually, yeah. Right, just turn that round so they know they can go in. Right, that's it. The end. The end. <laughs> oh, so we've got about, what, 40 minutes to wait downstairs? Yeah. Time for a hot chocolate. I might have a. Oh no, I've got to watch what I drink. Because we're on a two hour bus now. You have. Which always frightens the life out of me because two hours for me is horrendous. This is bad. What? We haven't. It's like uneven. We haven't distributed the weight properly. Haven't so we? It's hard to push. Oh. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> Lots of people waiting around, honey. Yeah. It must be all on the same bus then, I'm guessing. Gosh, we didn't have that many on our bus coming here, did we? About no, six, like six of us, weren't there, or something? Hardly anyone there. Yeah. Have you noticed all the staff wear the same pants as me? They've all got <laughs> Adidas originals. <laughs> I actually like the staff's um, uniforms here. I think it's quite, quite smart. All right, do you want to go and get a drink or something then? Yes, we can't check out yet because we've found out if you check out, they put your Wi-Fi off straight away. Yes. Um, <laughs> And Mazzy needs a Wi-Fi so she can play Uno on her <laughs> that, own. That's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't leave our cases in the end because two buses were out there and they might load up case onto a wrong bus. We put ours on the wrong coach <laughs> just to be anti that, that, that would be our luck, wouldn't it? All right, you go and get yourself a drink. 
It rained yesterday, so the swim pool roof is a mess. I can imagine he'll be cleaning that today. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a bit of hand luggage to carry. I've got that, which is quite heavy. I've got this bag, which is quite heavy with drinks and stuff. That's our other hand luggage, which is really heavy. I'm not going to chance to have any drink, actually. I was going to have a hot chocolate, last hot chocolate before we left because they were so nice but um <clears throat> yeah gotta worry about toilet business <laughs> right so i'm quite a little bit excited actually to get to um uh, the birmingham now because we'll be getting off at birmingham tonight uh should get to the hotel about i think we land about 5 45 or something like that and then by the time you get through baggage and customs and all this so we should get to the hotel about seven-ish or six, seven. I don't, I don't know, which ain't a bad time. And we absolutely enjoyed that hotel as well. So tomorrow now will be the hard day getting the trains. Now I know you didn't get me a drink, young man. Yeah. No, you did not. What's inside that? Just a couple of Coca-Colas, love. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Well, what was that for then? That's just come out the fridge. <laughs> That's to dilute my rum down on the plane. I was just saying, um, what time do we land tonight? I think it's 5.45 or something, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I should get to the hotel, getting on for about seven-ish. Like I was just saying though, the hardest day is then gonna be tomorrow and that's going to be the traveling back on the track. It's not hard, hard, but it's gonna be a longish day. Travelling back on the trains, in it. Yes. Oh, drink up. <laughs> I'm on holiday. <laughs> so we're on the bus. <clears throat> to be honest, I think everyone was waiting for us. <laughs> so I'm on my own on a single seat. Dan's behind me. Aren't you, darling? <laughs> That's what you get for being the last on the bus, I suppose. All right, so. No, no, a little bit early. I did say to you though, if you get early, they'll probably leave. <laughs> right, anyway, off we go. Are you right, darling? Hello. Aww. Got to the airport, no problems. Got the first bag, Mazzy's bag, onto the weighing scales. 0.1 kilograms over. No, it was. And I did my back in. Oh, I'm sorry. So I've been in agony <sighs> since. Right. How so I'm going to cope on the trains tomorrow, I do not know. So anyway, bless him. I do feel for him. Just been to duty free. We are, have arrived. Bit of a kerfuffle when you first get here. I now, found it strange. You had to go through, you know, your hand luggage where you get your laptop out and everything. We had to do that twice. Yeah, but you had to do all that before going for a toilet. Yeah, there were no toilets. <laughs> Two hours in. we were on that bus coming here. Yeah. Right, so there's somewhere down here we can go outside and pop outside for a bit. But we're going to go and do that. So that was lucky. We were able to pop outside. <laughs> oh. I did want to offer to, well, not offer, I said to Dan, let's buy a little hand luggage so we don't have to carry that. We could just wheel it. Can the annoying the thing is, oh god, it's hurting. Oh. The annoying thing is, once you get through the last security check, you're not allowed to bring trolleys in. So there's no, no trolleys in this bit for me to put the bag on. No. <laughs> my my, my Mazzy can't carry that. It's heavy. I'm wearing a hoodie because it was freezing on the the aircon on the bus. Anyway, I just popped outside and it's boiling. She couldn't sit down because no, she's no chair, pants on. The chair was too hot. Too hot to sit on. It's just like a little courtyard outside. Yeah. Where you can smoke out there. And there's... The sun is beaming down. But literally, if it was half an hour before or half an hour after, it'd be in the shade all day in that courtyard. Let's Never show mind. a little haul from the duty fray. So we've got some Pringles for the flight and the hotel. Oh, the prices were disgusting. Oh, mad, yeah. Absolutely. These were £2.30 each for a bottle of water. We went for some sour cream ones. What do you mean, we? There's no we. For, um, <laughs> um, just because they're Turkish. 
these I think were quite expensive. This is yeah. a massive bag. You couldn't just Rip. buy a normal size of anything. It was all like bulk. Talking like seven, eight quid these. Yeah, I think. They were four quid. They were four this, euros fifty. This said eleven something. Oh, I didn't know what ooh. the money was. Well, it's ten quid. Oh. It were in euros. Uh, got us one sleeve. We're only allowed one to take home each. And I got my brother some cigars, but whether they're any good or not, it's another thing. So yeah. We've got about, I think, an hour and 20 minutes till we fly. Uh, yeah. So yeah. let's just enjoy a drink. Uh, yeah, we're Much needed my, drink. And chillax oh. now. He had to throw away the can of Coke. Weren't allowed it through. Yeah. And it was full. <laughs> Funny thing is, JP messaged me because they came like two hours before us. Yeah. He said, security is a nightmare. Body searches and really strict. Swabbing everything and everything. It made it sound really scary. It but really it really wasn't that bad at all. Unless if he had a worse experience. It does look a bit like a smuggler. Oh, JP? Yeah. Oh. It does though, doesn't it? Tucking stuff in his dreads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know the worst thing though then? We went, we were about to check in our suitcases. It was all so quick. As soon as we got through the door, planes just were taking off. My helpful was a tablet out of one of our passports. It's probably only headache tablet, but we didn't know what it was, and then they probably wouldn't have known what it was. I opened my passport, and there were a tablet there. And a I said, it's a, a loose tablet, mm -hmm. not in packing. Yeah. I think it were a hay Might fever tablet hay or one. stomach yeah. one. Yeah. And I said, it's a good job I wasn't at the opening it up to show it to them, and a tablet falls out because they'd have me in back sticking things up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're quite. They seem quite tight here, don't they? With the security. I mean, they have to be. Turkey has been on high alert for yeah. well over a year for like, terrorist bombs, especially airports. Like we were saying, just coming through, like checking your hand luggage, you go through the X-rays and all that. We had to do that twice, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. But, but no, overall, that was yeah, quite that a was pleasant. Easy. Better than Birmingham and Luton yeah. and Gatwick and all that. And Much dri easier. Driving here was easy as well. I just closed my eyes. I, I went slept. Asleep. I you, slept. You was asleep. I was just chilling out. It was nice. I had a good hour's sleep on that coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was two hour long, wasn't it? <laughs> so yeah, chill out for a bit. Yeah. And then on the plane. Yeah. Back to Birmingham. We'll be back <laughs> when some other disaster happens, <laughs> which it will, because I'm here. It won't. That's something else I wanted to say as well. So both our suitcases went on the conveyor belt. Mine was first. Stuck a little sticker on it. Now I've had my bag searched before in the past, but I'm wondering now is that like a little indication for someone out back to say, search this one? Well, it you wore didn't, over You didn't get a sticker. It was, it was 20, 0.1. That's how much weight it was over. Overweight. Point 0.1? Well, probably a sticker on it to say this is overweight. No, I doubt it. She's a naughty girl and her case is overweight. That's what it meant. Oh, I hope so. I hope they're going to be going through all my dirty underwear and all that. <laughs> probably going to search mine. Anyway, it's a nice small little airport, isn't it, babe? Mm hmm. Which I quite like. There's no sort of traffic, so to say. <coughs> One more thing I forgot to add as well. When we got here, absolutely dying for a wee but we had to go for all passport control everything first anyway I get to the toilet I'm squatting over a, ho a hole so I come out I was laughing and I warned you and well, you, and you tell me you tell me then you had a proper toilet yeah and an attendant dried me off tried you off I literally had to squat over a hole and the thing had a flush what was the point in that <laughs> Anyway, we're searching for our gate now. Just so we've got a rough idea where it is. And what's that? And um, what time? Oh, that might tell us. The oh, yeah, yeah. Now he's happy. He just spotted a bar. Oh, yes. Oh, Popeyes. Popeyes. <sighs> it's bleeding in Popeyes. <sighs> All right, let's see what's what then. So we've got quite a long time there. Have we? All them have got to go first. Alright. So two o'clock. 
is now going to the gate and it's half past one so it's going to be about half an hour before yeah we go at so we've got half an hour darling we've got half an hour to do whatever you want to do where is the gate though oh we're next one yeah we're next and it's then going to say waiting lounge Oh, what, what but lounge? Where's, what, where's, what are these lounges? These are your gates. It's further down. Oh. Just keep going, it'll be at the end. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Hey. The ones we like. Oh, yeah, no, they were too salty. I like mm. them. I'll have one. Oh, they're nice and hot. Nice. Nah, a bit too salty for me. Yeah, just noticed as well, they've actually got Popeyes and Burger King. I've never had a Popeyes, have you? No. Never. Prices are absolutely disgusting on the sidewalk. How much does that work out? Are you that right? was seven quid. Imagine like that in Birmingham, aren't they? Taking a minute. Yeah, but you don't mind in Birmingham when it you come. It makes it to be cheap. Yeah, yeah. No, it's taking the mickey, is that? And they have three sizes. You could have a smaller one, this one, or an even bigger one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, no, £7 enough. Right, making our final move. Just went over to Burger King to check out just an average meal. Whopper meal. 425. Works out just over a tenner, I think. Yep. So that wasn't bad at all. She's going on it the wrong way. Oh no, they've switched it round. Oh, you second. They've switched it round. We walked up here and it was going the other way. And I said, just said to you, oh, it's going to... It's yeah, gonna it's gonna lot. it's gonna help us walk down here. In fact, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that a different one then? Does it change? No, it says do not enter. Don't enter, babe. You'll probably you'll probably I set an alarm off. It might have been the other ones down there. <laughs> so yeah, just over a tenner anyway for a just your yeah, average that's whopper the meal. Only thing which is a reasonable price in this I thought that was quite normal actually. Burger King is usually quite expensive anyway. All right, so we're going to go for Wee Wee's and then start making our way to the gate. Where's that screen? Oh, it's all the way down there. Look, he can't wait to get on this one. <laughs> Why would these people walk oh, when I they don't can know. get on this? Just get on it. Get Stop on this, it? I'm not here to whine. I just, free. I just want to get back. <laughs> yeah, but you're still walking. What's the point in that? <laughs> What's the point in that? You're still walking. Walking really fast. Well, I wish I'd got the camera in actually. So they had two ones you had to squat over again. Turn me back. This is a total different toilet. Turn me back and there's two real toilets. Oh, you numpty. So I probably did the same up there. Yeah. So what have you squatted on? What do you mean, what have I squatted on? Over. It's a hole in the floor. Should I go film it? Are you sure it's where you meant to go to the toilet? Should I film it? No. Somebody tell me. Definitely not. I don't know, but I peed no. down it. I had a flush on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't bend down right, to pick yeah. that up. <coughs> um, we've just been having a conversation about window seats on the plane. Mm. I've always had window seats all my life. Um, and as Massey so pointed out, I. it's because I've always been single. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I only catch planes when I'm leaving girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always had single uh, uh, window seats as well. And when it comes to a couple, the man always sits in the middle because no woman wants to sit next to a stranger. <laughs> but just don't. I like being near the window simply because I find it exciting. And she yeah, won't let me go near the window. I've never been near the window with Mazzy. It ain't fair. Well, technically, we were supposed to only have two seats together, not three. We brought two seats. If we've got two seats and there isn't a third seat with someone sat there, I'm having window seat. You've agreed to that, haven't you? Yeah, I have you? agreed to that, yeah. Oh, oh. I want window seat. I want to see, I want the excitement of setting off. I'm just sat there staring at a headrest <laughs> of big fat Bob in front of me. Well, we didn't have a real Tui plane coming over. It was just like this silver 
Yeah. And no writing or stickers on it at all. So if we have a proper Tui one, hopefully we'll get the two chairs that we booked. Because that's the whole point, isn't and it? And I can have a window seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I can watch planes and look out the window and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to be listening to my phone. I might ask Pilot if I can go in cockpit. I'm having four I've never hours done that. to myself. Yeah, you're playing Uno it on goes. your own. I can't play Uno. Oh, it's there. going right way. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm flying now. You beauty. I'm nearly there already. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Got swapped for drugs. <laughs> so, just been through the final security check. Looked at my passport, my boarding passes. Mr. Daniel, please go take a seat. Really polite, really nice. He took one look at her. This is right, you're having a security check. Honestly, they sort of swapped me with all these drug things and they swapped all my phone and my shoes and everything. Yeah, that proves us don't do drugs. There you go. I've got to get out of this hoodie, it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, they give her a proper so I thought I thought that were hilarious. That got, they got, let me through, but not you. Oh, I got touched up. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't have got one of the girls, would I? I'd have got a man. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Can't be long now. What, can you see our flat? Uh, I'd say fifteen minutes, love. It's a proper tourie one. Yay! One. Yay! Hopefully. You might get one more search. You Why? do look shady. They might have missed something. You, you do might look... get searched if I tell them something that they should, I shouldn't be saying. <laughs> well, I'll put you through that as well. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. Sit Ooh. down, Mr. Holdsworth. Oh, it's hot. Go yes. take a seat, Mr. Holdsworth. Mr. Daniel. Have Not a nice Mr. Holdsworth, day. Mr. Have a Daniel. Nice <laughs> anyway. I got the window seat. <laughs> so we are on a proper two flight, but it's three seats. Why is it we always get the rubbish view? I know. Yeah. We were on the wing. Someone did actually comment saying yeah. they were a stewardess. Yeah. And they all, whenever they flew, yeah. they always go above the plane. They Apparently the plane. if you crash it's the best place to be. Above the plane? Uh, sorry, above the, the wing. wing. Oh, okay. Apparently it's always the best place to be and I'm guessing because if you land in water, yeah. the door is right in front of us there and we can walk out onto the wing. <laughs> all them are dead, they're dead. We're all right. I stop that now, I'm not doing that again. I'm talking about death and plane crashes again. So we're all on, are we on good time? What? Well, I don't even know the time. Don't know. No, I don't know. If I'll be, if I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to sort of getting back now. It should be setting off in five minutes. Right, okay. That ain't gonna happen. No, no, probably not. Doing this <laughs> You might notice I'm next to the window. I've got a window seat. I've got a window seat. The stewardess just asked us if we would have mind changing seats so that we're near the emergent. I just basically look like I'd be very good. Thank you for that. It's so uh, been an emergency door operator. Everybody's so, life relies on us now. Yeah, so I'm next to the door looking after things. Now we've paid for extra leg room. This is extra leg room, more than what over there. It doesn't make sense, does it? I'm next to window. I don't mind, I don't mind. I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. A first flight next to a window with you, Mazzy. You've got a decent window now. I've, I've got the door for if all happens. I've got the wing to stand on. I'm sorted. Thank you, touch that. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a new job. So, the stewardess has just explained that I am in charge of this door. <laughs> She's told me what to do. If, if, if they say evacuate, 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 I've got to lift this flap up, pull that, and let everybody out. Or I can close it behind me if I don't want to let other people out. Let <laughs> it! I'm in charge of door. You're in charge of filming our takeoff as well now. Alright? Happy now? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I've just been listening very carefully to the stewardess's instructions about emergency things like masks over and life jackets and stuff. Where's your life jacket? It's under my seat. Ah, oh, you were listening. And it, she did say, uh, anyone who sat next to a door, please read the brief instruction, the briefing. So I've got a briefing here, I'm just reading it. And it's basically saying, everybody, get out when you jump out of there, which is here. So I know what I'm doing. I'm fully ready, I'm fully prepped, I've had all my training. I've always said I'd make a good doorman, and I'm going to prove it today. This plane has reversed. I think the runway is small here, so we're probably going to all going to go up in a minute. Yeah, it's going to be quick, is this one? Very small airport there, so like, why is it going up? Are you ready for that? Yeah, that's going to hurt me back. <laughs> my back's killing me, man. I'm not the best person to be a doorman no, with my I'm back. Just thinking, relying on you. <laughs> Dorman next to window. Buzzing. So we're just making his way to the takeoff point. I reckon he's going to turn round and then shoot off. Um, I'm not only just in charge of everybody's safety and the door, I'm in charge of the window as well. So I'm allowed to film out of this. But I keep having it in my head. I wonder if they saw my Frank Spencer motorhome <laughs> adventures that actually <laughs> give me this job. They'd kick you, put you right back there again, wouldn't they? Oh. They'd put me in a straight jacket, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> We're actually about 20 minutes after 20 minute delay. So I'm hoping it can catch up and take over a few planes on the way back, make up some time. Getting in the fast lane, darling. I'm just looking over there and his runway is called 34L. Same as my waist size. 34 waist, long length. What? You're talking about your legs, not your waist. Well, it's both in it. The L is for long. Are you talking about your waist or your legs? Both. Oh. 34 waist, long. That isn't how it works. Hold on, hold on. The 34 is the measurement of your inner leg. Where did you get your waist in I can't talk to you right now. I'm in charge of door. Good. This is an important. I'm, I'm too tired for you. This is an important part of the flight. We're about to set off. If I'm going to be needed, there's a good chance it's going to be now. I'm ready. I'm ready. To pull it, you see. Weird, isn't it? My favourite band is the Doors, <laughs> and they've picked me as doorman, chief security saver. Nate window. Put that camera off me. Just noticed another very important instruction which you didn't tell me about being the doorman. If I look out and I see a fire or someone smoking a cigarette, don't throw a washing machine out of the door. 